President Obama hosted the second annual Astronomy Night on the White House front lawn. That event brought together students from around the country to meet with the nation's top scientists and astronauts. The president encouraged students to follow their science dreams, and then he got in on the action. So the, uh, what, what, what are we going to do with this big telescope here? Well, we're going to see the moon. Oh, well, let's do that. Okay. The, uh, so, I, I, I see it there, but you, yeah. you think I'm, I'm going to get a better, better view through this, uh, this, this big telescope? Probably. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Right? Just go ahead and try it? Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Does it matter which eye? The one you see the best with. <laughs> All right. Wow. The craters, they are um, the result of heavy bombardment uh, with other, uh, with other um, gigantic space stuff with the moon. S is space stuff a uh, scientific term? Uh, yes, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say this looks spectacular? It does. The, uh, you guys are going to get a chance to see through it this but uh, as, as good as it looks up there it sure looks better here fascinating the president also had a special guest at the event remember 14 year old Ahmed Mohammed he's the Texas teenager who was arrested for bringing a homemade clock to school in an effort to impress his teachers while the president did not mention Ahmed specifically he did describe the achievements of several students in the audience and the president also did not meet with Ahmed. The teen had hoped to talk to President Obama about his experience and about discrimination in the United States. Obama made a special phone call to astronaut Scott Kelly, congratulating him on becoming the American to spend the longest amount of time in space. It is uh, on Thursday of next week. You're, you're setting a record, man, which, uh, you know, that's, that's nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, well, actually, uh, just a couple days ago, I went um, went uh, above the record for days in space for an American, and then uh, in a week or so here, I'll surpass the the single uh, duration flight record for for an American as well. So, how uh, how are you feeling generally? The records are made to be broken. Yes, sir. I'm feeling great. Um, you know, I feel like I've been here for a long time, and uh, I, obviously, and it feels like I got a long way ahead. But it shouldn't be a, shouldn't be a problem getting to the end with uh, enough uh, energy and enthusiasm to complete the job. Well, let me tell you. I'm uh, guessing that being in space that long makes your back itch. It's just a guess. Kelly's record stands at 386 days and counting.